Recently, I had to take a bus out of New York's infamous Port Authority bus terminal. The full review will be out soon. Subscribe to Trains Are Awesome so you don't miss it. You know, I did not think it was nearly as bad as people say. It was no Grand Central, but it was much nicer than I expected. That being said, it pales in comparison to what I think is America's nicest bus station, the Transbay Transit Center in San Francisco. Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom and I am in San Francisco, California. Just wanted to do a quick video today showing you the Transbay Transit Center, also known as the Salesforce Transit Center. This is San Francisco's major bus station. Today, as always, we are joined by Lindsay. And honestly, it has been so much fun exploring San Francisco, just the two of us. It's officially called the Salesforce Transit Center because Salesforce, who owns the building next door, bought the naming rights. But you can call it the Transbay Transit Center. That's the name of the original building that stood here. The current building opened in 2018. The original Transbay Transit Center opened in 1939, serving the three electric interurban railways that came across the bay over the bridge. The interurbans were ripped out in 1958 and the structure became exclusively a bus station. In 1989, a large earthquake condemned the building. It had to be torn down and rebuilt. And that's how we ended up with the current building. I have to say here in the United States, bus stations have a reputation for being old, gross, and dark. So far, not this place. This place has a ton of cool features, but first, let's try to find some buses. Looks like there's none up here. Most Muni buses, including trolley buses and Golden Gate Transit buses, leave from the bottom floor. Everything else leaves from a special bus platform upstairs. On the intermediate floor, there is a Greyhound waiting area, one of the last remaining ones in the country. There are bathrooms up here, which we found were in decent shape. Then on the third floor is the bus terminal. This is used by Greyhound, AC Transit, and Westcat Lynx. Also one Muni Metro route, number 25, which runs to Treasure Island. All right, what is this doing to your preconceptions of bus stations? So there's only one Muni line that stops up here and the rest is like Greyhound and AC Transit up here in this beautiful, modern, clean bus terminal. Um, and the reason that like Golden Gate Transit and most of the Muni lines leave from downstairs is because this bus bay leads straight to a bridge which leads to another bridge. This bus deck connects directly to the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. The connector bridge is the only way in or out. There is no access to street level or the city of San Francisco itself. That's why most Muni buses leave from downstairs. The middle of the bus deck basically forms one large platform. Because this platform is in the middle and bus doors are always on the right side of the vehicle, buses have to run around the station in a clockwise direction. This means that on the access road, there is a point where buses switch to traveling on the left-hand side. The Salesforce Transit Center currently just sees bus service. That could change in the future. The Caltrain commuter rail currently terminates outside the city center at 4th and King Station. With California high-speed rail scheduled to use those tracks in the future, there are potential plans to extend the line underground farther into downtown. 
maybe even connect to a second Transbay tube. If that happens, the Salesforce Transit Center will be the downtown station. Of course, this extension draws a lot of criticism for how expensive it would be. What doesn't? At the same time, the advantage of direct downtown service is enormous. I'm just glad I'm not the person who has to make decisions about these things. So this light and spacious and just really good looking bus island on the third floor, that's cool in its own right, but perhaps you're not as much into public transit as I am. Well, first of all, I want to thank you for watching my video anyways. Second, there's something here for everybody. We're going to go up to the roof of this building, which is supposed to have a giant park. The transit center is a massive structure that takes up several city blocks. It's 1,430 feet or 440 meters long. Now, it could have just been an obstructive, purely functional structure, but it's not. Let's head to the roof and see what this park has to offer. There's plenty of green space to relax and a playground for kids. This is nice. It offers direct access to the Salesforce Tower, so employees have a nice place to enjoy their breaks. It's not just part of the roof, it's the entire roof. Here's one of my favorite features. These fountains up here follow the movements of the buses below. When a bus drives underneath us, the water jets up. And this part is even better. If you don't want to take the escalator to the roof, you could always take the aerial tram. This little glass box takes you right up from street level to the park. Is it necessary? No. Is it cool and do I love it? Yes. The aerial tram is free to use, but unfortunately when we were there, it wasn't in service. Is it closed? It is 2 p.m. right now. Well, I had read online that it is frequently closed. I guess this is the full Salesforce Transit Center experience then. Luckily, a few weeks later, my parents were in San Francisco, and when they visited the park on the roof of the Transit Center, the aerial tram was in service. They were generous enough to provide this footage for me. To me, the Transpay Transit Center is a bus station done right. It's light, it's clean, it's modern, it connects well to city transit, and it's an inviting green space where people can relax and hang out. In our next video, we're finally riding San Francisco's world-famous cable cars. You don't want to miss it. Subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time. Oh yeah. Good.